Hi there. In this video we're going to look at how to work out the range and averages from a table. Now before we go straight to the tables, uh, I just want to try and show you how it's related to working out range and averages from base, a basic data set. So suppose we have a data set here and it's the number of goals scored by a football team in their league matches. Um, and I'm asked to work out the range, mode, median and median. Median and mean. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is put the data in order. So there we have it there. The data is in order. The range, like we've discussed in a previous video, is the biggest value take away the smallest value, which is 4. The mode is the most common value. In this case, it's 1. The median is going to be the middle uh, data point in all of this. And that's going to be found right here. We've got 44 pieces of data. Um, halfway between that is 22. So it's going to be between the 22nd and 23rd piece of data, which is right in there. So the median is 1. And the mean we'd work out by adding these all together and then dividing by 44. Slightly quicker way to do the mean in this case would be to do 8 times by 0 because there's 8 lots of 0, 15 times by 1, because we got 15 lots of 1, 12 times by 2, because we got um, 12 lots of 2, 6 times by 3, and 3 times by 4. If I add these all together, add them all together, and then divide by 44, that will tell me the median. But let's have a look at what's done when we're using a table. So here we have it here. The information is now placed into a table. Um, and I want to work out range, mode, median, and mean. So let's just delete this here. Make a bit more space. OK, so the range. Now the range we've already discussed is 1. How do we work it out from the table? We do the biggest value, take away smallest value. 4 take away 0 is 4. Do not make the misconception that lots of people tend to make is they use the frequency to work out the range. Frequency only tells you how often that data point appears. So do not use your frequency to work out the range. Use the values um, from your table. The mode is going to be the value that has the highest frequency. In this case, 15. So our mode is 1. The median is going to be the middle data point. Now we know how to do it when it's in a list of data. Let me show you how we do it using a table. First thing we do is work out how many data points we have in total. And we work that out by adding up all the frequency. So there's 44 pieces of data. That means the median is going to be between the 22nd and 23rd piece of data, because it's the middle value. So where is the point between the 22nd and 23rd piece of data. Well, the beauty of the table is it's already in order. So if I was to take a table and put it into a list, it would look like this. So if we take the cumulative frequency, that's basically a running total of the frequencies, starting from the top and working our way down, we should be able to use that to work out the median. So at this point, we've just got eight data points. When I add in all these ones, I have another 15 data points, so that gives me 23 in total. When I add in all the twos, that's another 12 data points, that's 35. Another six data points here, that's 41. And another three data points, that's 44. Now I know I've done it correctly because that last value that I get in red should be the same as the total frequency. Now where is that 22nd and 23rd piece of data? It must be in here because at this point we've got 8 and then we add on another 15, that's 23. So that means between 22 and 23 happened here. So that means that the median is 1. The mean, on the other hand, like I showed you before using the data set, we could do 8 times 0, 1 times 15, 2 times 12, etc. Using the table, we do the exact same thing. So let's just clear that out. I'm going to do the value times by the frequency for each one. 1 times 15 is 15. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 6 is 18. 
and 4 times 3 is 12. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these all together, like I suggested before, adding them all together. 5 and 4 is 9, 17, 19, carry 1. That's 2, 4, 5, 6. So we get 69. So to work out the mean now, I'm going to do 69 divided by the total frequency. 69, 69 divided by 44 gives me 1.57. So the mean is 1.57, 1.57. Okay, so let's just summarize what it is we've discussed here. The range, as I said, is the biggest value, take away the smallest value. So don't use your frequencies to work this out. The mode is the value that has the highest frequency. The median is the value where we find the middle data point. And the mean, we do values times by frequency, add them all together, and then divide that by the total frequency. Okay, so here's a question for you to try. Um, we got some data here about the number of TV sets in uh, various different sports clubs. So see if you can work out the range, mode, median, and mean. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Here are your solutions. So um, hopefully you managed to get those questions correct. If you didn't, try it again and see if you can figure out where you went wrong. Okay, let's take a look at this now. Um, this is a case where we're given continuous data and it's grouped. So we got group data and I want to be able to work to estimate the range. I'll explain why it's an estimate in a second. And we want to be able to estimate the mean. Find the, uh, the class interval that contains the median and work out what the modal class is. Right, the range is going to be, just like before, it's going to be the biggest value take away the smallest value. So in this case, 60 take away 10, the range is going to be 50. The reason why it's an estimate is because the data is grouped. So we got 30 pieces of data, but they can range anywhere between 10 and 20. So they could all actually be 19, and I wouldn't know. But I, it, that's why it's only an estimate of the range, because I'm using these class intervals to work it out. Which class interval contains the median? Well, I'm gonna, just like before, add up all the frequencies that gives us a grand total of 100 which means the median is going to be somewhere between the 50th piece of data and the 51st piece of data so let's work out the cumulative frequencies here we've got 30 30 and 35 is 65 65 and 20 gives us 85 85 and 10 is 95, 95 and 5 is 100, and these two guys are the same, which means I've done it correctly. So where is the class interval with the 50th and 51st data point? It's going to be here. So our class interval that contains the median is going to be 20 less than or equal to t less than 30. The modal class is the one that has the highest frequency. Again, it's the same in this case. It's 20 less than or equal to t less than 30. And we want to estimate the median next. Now, in order to estimate the median, we're going to have to add in a couple of columns. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to work out the, the midpoint of all of these class intervals. So let's work out the midpoint of all of these class intervals. Uh, we'll have 15 here, midpoint between 10 and 20. Midpoint here is 25, 35, 45, and 55. So there's all our midpoints. Next, we're going to do the midpoint times by the frequency. So 30 times 15, let me get the calculator going. 30 times by 15 gives us 450. 25 times by 35 gives us 875. 35 times by 20 
gives us 700. 45 times by 10 gives us 450. Let me just tidy that up. That should be 700. And 55, 55 times by 5 gives us 275. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these all together. So we got 275 plus 450 plus 700 plus 875 plus 450. Adding them all together, we get 2,750. So to get the mean, I'm going to do this total divided by the total frequency. So quite similar to what we were doing when we had the table earlier on in the video. So 2,750 divided by 100 gives us 27.5. So the mean time, an estimate of the mean time, is 27.5 seconds. Now, the reason why it's an estimate, it's because we chose midpoints. That's why it's an estimate. Uh, that's about all you'll need to know in terms of your exam for finding the mean, median, mode, and range from a table. Here's a question for you to try. See if you can work out the four questions and get the correct answers. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Uh, I'll bring up the solutions now so you can mark your work. And there you have it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Um, one more thing that I probably didn't mention, I, I should, is um, all the questions that we've done, uh, the median and the mode have always been the same. Um, just bear in mind that's not always the case. It's just the way it happened in these videos. Uh, it won't always be the case, so do bear that in mind. The med median and mode will not always be the same. Anyway, that's all from me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Take it easy.